news. Also, we're hearing reports from an ex Pentagon official, Stephen Bryan, that apparently France has secretly sent its military to Ukraine already. According to him, about 100 foreign legion soldiers from the 3rd French Infantry Regiment were stationed in Slovyansk to support the 54th Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces, which do artillery and surveillance. In total, it is planned that about 1,500... Hey, you got milk? We do. This is 50 cups of milk. Look. Members of the French Foreign Legion will go to Ukraine. So that is huge news, guys. France sending their elite special ops to Ukraine. Apparently 100 already in Slovyansk. I'm going to stop and you right there. 1,500 <clears throat> total are expected. We want to give all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem. Rakaha Kwadash, double on to the elders of Great Millstone who told me his truth. I'm gonna make this quick. <clears throat> I'm on the move right now. Um, but this just came out. You know, um, NATO is in this war. So everything is set up. Yeah, get get that from the back. Every everything is set up. Oh, oh uh, pop the hatch too. All the way in the back. It might be some food back there too. But get that right there. It's like it. everything is set up, you know, for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah to make these uh, these final claims on planet Earth. You know, the Third World's War, all the pieces are set. Everything is ready to go. So NATO is in. <laughs> you know, NATO is in. They're not saying anything. So NATO is in. So with NATO being in, World War Three is close. Is so close. All we waiting for is this chip, this RFID to roll down for this CBD system to take place. And we got a lot of dreams, a lot of vision, people seeing things that this whole system is about to flip. So the Lord got all the guns out, all the guns out. And the UFOs are stationed in position. This is a very sensitive time. Akim Aqua. We can't stress this enough. Stay on your watch. Prepare as we enter into what? We 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 in uh what's this? April, May. This is May. We go about to go into June. You see how fast the months are flying. We'll be into August before you know it. Heading into the end of 2024. This thing can pop off. Towards the end of 2024, but definitely 2025, it's going to be serious. Prepare. Time is short. Time is short. This is being reported by an ex-Pentagon official, Stephen Bryan. And NATO may intervene in the war in Ukraine if Belarus is involved in the war on Russia's side or if Russia attacks the Baltic countries, Poland or Moldova, Italy's Repubblica has reported. Repubblica is one of the larger newspapers in Italy. So that is huge news, guys. And we know that Russia and Belarus have been massing forces on the border of Lithuania, Latvia, and Poland in the last few weeks and also in the last two years. And French President Emmanuel Macron called on the West not to set limits on military support for Ukraine. The security of Europeans is at stake in Ukraine since it is located 1,500 kilometers from our borders. If Russia wins in the next second, there will be no security in Romania, Poland, Lithuania, or our country. The power and range of Russian ballistic missiles puts us all in danger. So strong words there from Emmanuel Macron. And the Financial Times is reporting that Russia is preparing acts of sabotage across Europe as it heads for permanent conflict with the West. And this has already been happening there was a warehouse with humanitarian aid set on fire in Britain that was supposed to go to Ukraine, that aid, and it was set mm. on fire. And this update was sponsored okay, by Okay, we're going to end it right there.
you know, let me let me get let me get the script. Stay on the, the, the prophecies are popping off. This is um Joel 3, verse 9. Say to the nations far and wide. This is NLT now. Get ready for war. Call out your best warriors. Let all your fighting men advance for attack. Hammer your plowshares into swords with your missiles and guns and bullets and your pronging hooks into spears. Train even your weakest to be warriors. Come quickly, all you nations everywhere gather together in the valley. And now, Yahweh call out your warriors. That's to the angels. Let the nations be called to arms. Let them march to the valley of Jehoshaphat. There, Yahweh will sit to pronounce judgment to on them all. And it's a valley of Jehoshaphat. When you go into it, uh, let's just get it real quick. Right? Oh, let's sit. Jehoshaphat, the Hebrew, for it. Let's see if it plays. This, uh, Yahweh Shapat, which means they got Jehovah here. That's not his name. It's close, but it's Yahweh has judged. Symbolic name of a valley near Jerusalem. So this is the location. This thing is going to take place in the Middle East. That's why everything's popping off in the east it says which is the place of ultimate judgment maybe the deep ravine which separates jerusalem from the mount of olives through which the uh the kindred flows you know and when you go into the kindred you know this is this is down in the uh let me just show you a picture here this is the, the kindred the area down uh, the Mount of Olives, that, this was one of the favorite spots our Lord Yahushua retreated to many times. And the Mount of Olives was a location that he told the disciples about the end of the world. The Kindred Valley is the modern name of the valley or originally slightly northeast of the old city of Jerusalem, which then separated the Temple Mount from the Mount of Olives, man. And ending at the Dead Sea beyond Jordan, it continues in a general southeastern direction through the Jordan Desert in the West Bank, reaching the Dead Sea near the settlement of the Avant or Levant, and descending 4,000 feet along its 20 mile course. So, this is where the battle is going to be taking place. And the Lord's going to gather these armies down in Saudi Arabia, the land that's barren and, de and desolate. And we see a lot of activity happen down in um, in the Red Sea and in the South, the, what is it, the South um, China Sea, if I'm not mistaken. And that's a few miles from the Red Sea, so they can easily just cross over to the Middle East. So everything is on deck. Everything is on deck according to prophecy. Get ready. Keep your eyes open. Supply, guys, my Patriot supply is 100 Stay on point. To get, to their, to get six as a thief in the night. Head of the Ministry of Internal Affairs. And in Germany, just a few weeks ago, you guys may remember I reported on this. This was the day and this is uh this is this is uh in germany an attack on this is uh this is ny prepper he gets a lot of his news from uh war news 24 7. we're we, we gonna end it right there so you see nato's in nato's in so we fixing for a, a, a serious serious battle giving all the praise honor and glory 
to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakah Hakodash Alwan.